Kovarugi president. Võilma paraadiks rüvistatud kai... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, My name is Sergeant Nathan Leach, and I am a 13 Mike. I'm the crew chief of Alpha 1-1 in Alpha Battery 1st Platoon 4133FA. We're here to do a static display in support of uh, Estonia's Victory Day. Ambassador Kent stopped by and he said that he was just proud to have us here and he was really excited to see us. He's just overall very proud that the U.S. forces are representing themselves well here in Estonia. The HIMARS is one of the systems that provides superior long-range fires, I think it's strategically important here, is because of its maneuverability, which is becoming increasingly important. Being from Texas and then now training in Estonia, we've gotten used to a lot of different environments. For one, the ground is quite marshy in the summers. We don't have that at home. So we've gotten to test out a lot of mudding with the vehicles. And in the winter, it's all ice and snow. So we're getting basically a two for one and trying to get the all-terrain features out of this vehicle. It's really improved our ability to sustain a fight. Being in Estonia has been great. We've gotten to see a lot of the culture, gotten to visit like Paide, Tallinn, Rakvir, Narva. Uh, we've gotten to do some work with their SF and RSF and just all kinds of cool stuff. We've worked particularly closely with the British and the Estonians and some tangentially with the French as well. Uh, and the thing I think I've learned the most from it is just that uh, we all have slightly different doctrines when it comes to like op area planning and communications. Even our equipment is different. So it's really interesting to try and increase the inter interoperability of the force by trying to kind of hammer out some of those bugs. My uh, crew, Specialist Johnson and Specialist Tristan, they've been phenomenal. They've done great work at all the static displays and they've been a great presence with our Estonian allies. There's nothing quite like watching a HIMARS fire for the first time. And I'm really looking forward to our upcoming live fire where we get to share that experience with our NATO guests.